All right. Welcome. Uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about connecting your device to the flat panel. I want you to notice my finger right up here where I'm connecting this to the touch component. Notice the USB. It says touch right there. That's going to give you the touch capabilities. On the side of the bar right here has the VGA in. And I move the VGA in and I'm connecting it to my laptop. For those of you that are fortunate enough in the high school that you have the HDMI, you're going to be using the HDMI cable to connect your device directly. On the side here, you also have a VGA audio in. It's like that little mini plug. And you notice it in the box, you have that long cable with the mini plug on each side. One connects to the laptop, one connects to the flat panel. So make sure you do take a look at that also. If you want the audio to come out from the flat panel. All right, and I want you to notice the side. Here are your Wi-Fi antennas. Be careful with these because these are what gives you that Wi-Fi connection. And without them, you might lose that capability. And it's so easy to reach back here and unscrew one and take it off. So be very careful and constant and make sure that students are not near this area. Look at the bottom here. Now in the bottom here, you have your VGA connection in. That's the VGA in. Here you have the mini plug. Now this mini plug is the audio because VGA does not carry a uh, audio source to it. And so I'm going to physically hook that up to my laptop. And I'll show you that in a moment. And underneath here, you have the different video components. Now, yes, you have your VGA here, but you have the HDMI connections down here. And so, again, my high school teachers, those that with the Dells or you have a, a laptop with the HDMI, you're going to be using the HDMI connection at the bottom, but you don't have to use the mini plug because the HDMI has both the video and the audio. All right. Now, we did show you the connecting points on the sides and the bottom and how to connect the, the cables and so some of the things that you're going to have is you're going to get a little box it's going to have the usb cable remember that's the one with the touch now the vga cable is when i'm hooking up with the mac because i have a mac and i have the adapter to hooking up with the vga remember this one is on the side and you also have hdmi cable especially those people by high school this is remember this is the audio and the video both in one cable and you also have that mini plug that's connecting the audio and that's also on the side so if you're using a VGA cable make sure you use that mini plug if you want the sound to come from your board you also have a remote with the battery now I know a lot of times we roll once we get it going we just power it up and we turn it on but still you have the remote and just keep it in a safe spot. 